Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program at the Mayo Clinic. I'm talking to you today about a study we published this year on racial disparities and changing incidence of celiac disease in the United States. This was a study done with colleagues um, from the NIH as well as uh, Sloan Kettering. Um, and what we did was we went back to old blood samples. These were samples saved as part of the NHANES studies. These are national surveys to address American health and nutrition. These surveys have been undergoing for many decades and we had the opportunity to go back to the 1980s and 90s and then more recently and test the blood samples for evidence for celiac disease. We were able to show that over these decades there was a substantial increase in the prevalence or the, the frequency of celiac disease in people over 50. And this change seemed to occur around the year 2000. What does this mean? This suggests that something has changed in our environment, probably at or before that time, that has changed the occurrence of celiac disease. And this is supported by other work that we and others have published showing that the rate of diagnosis of celiac disease has dramatically increased and again over that same time frame of the late 90s or into the early 2000s is where that significant increase occurred. The other thing that we looked at is we looked at the racial disparities. This seems to be a disease when we think of celiac disease that is much more common in non-Hispanic Caucasians that is, white people who are not of Hispanic origin. Um, and it was much more common than in people of African American or other, dis other races. The, interestingly, we also had the opportunity to look at the practice of being gluten-free without a diagnosis of celiac disease in recent participants in these surveys. And we showed that there while celiac disease itself was more common in Caucasians, the practice of avoiding gluten without a diagnosis of celiac disease was more common in African Americans. Now this is interesting because, as we've already said, celiac disease is much rarer in African Americans. So there must be other behaviors or other factors that are driving people to avoid gluten without a diagnosis of celiac disease. Now, because of the design of the surveys, we weren't able to go back and identify why people have gone gluten-free without a diagnosis of celiac disease. But it really makes us think as to there is a need for research to understand why people are avoiding gluten who don't have a diagnosis of celiac disease. Thank you.